So did you ever think that we'd be seeing a War Machine total rework? Because personally, I didn't. But here we are, and it's looking pretty cool, man. Uh, so, as always, the buff info's now out. And of course, we broke it all down, and we highlighted everything that you're going to have to know. And I'm excited to talk about this one, man. This is so cool. Um, I made a Rank 3 War Machine video four months ago at this point. Time flies fast, guys. Wow. Um, and I was excited with him. I was like, man, he is cool at max sig. He's just a little impractical. He only needs like a couple little tweaks and he could be good. Well, man, he got a lot more than a couple little tweaks. He, he got those little tweaks, the exact tweaks that I wanted, plus more. Let's break it down. So, about War Machine. James Rody Rhodes, decorated U.S. Air Force pilot and longtime ally of Tony Stark, combats evil and injustice as the armored War Machine. True to his codename, Rhodes' armor delivers heavy metal power via its wrist-mounted machine guns and shoulder-mounted artillery cannon. So, when it comes to prestige, it's actually semi-decent, a big jump from his old prestige. As a 5-star, not too many people have this guy as a 5-star, but 10,420 as a 6-star, 13,400. He's never been in the 5-star base pool. Um, he's very recently been in the 6-star basic pool. He was just in the 6-star featured. Um, so yeah, guys, you know, I pulled him once, and I have him unduped as a 6-star. I'm pretty happy to have him after reading through this buff. Let's jump into it, man. All right? War Machine's mechanic. War Machine is back with an all new arsenal of tools. He has brand new pre fight abilities to juice him up, and his other tech teammates will help you tackle some of the toughest challenges the content has to offer. Stack up armor breaks, get some fury from the special three, deal some great damage over time with the special one, and refresh it all with the heavy attack. So, his strengths. Teamwork, all right? War Machine's pre-fight abilities give him a new way to help out his fellow tech attackers. Very similar to, like, White Magneto, man, but only for tech champions, all tech champions, all right? So, very, very cool, man. Look at this. Always active. Start the fight when an indefinite armor buff, increasing armor rating by 3,575. This is the highest natural armor rating in the entire game, I believe, the armor buff. The only thing that's higher than it is Kang at max sig and max power, I believe. Kang's armor buff, uh, it fluctuates with how much stored power he has. But with Kang, you really want to use that special two over and over, so you don't really get to... Uh, I don't really get to utilize that. This guy has 3,575, like, right out of the gate. That's really, really good. That's really good, man. And it's really good when you look at his persistent charges and see how they work here as well. This guy's got a lot of info, so let's jump in, man. So War Machine, he begins with five persist two persistent charges, max five here, okay? Charges can be spent in the pre-fight screen to activate one or more armory boost. Each boost lasts one fight and doesn't stack, can be used by War Machine and other techs. Winning a fight with War Machine grants one charge, plus an additional charge for each other hero champion on the team, okay? So, let's look at the armory boosts. So, just being active... Tech attackers gain plus 10% attack rating when an armory boost is active, all right? So there are three of them, support, fortify, and skirmish. You gain two, with support, you gain two cleanse charges, and when champions with the cleanse are inflicted with the debuff, it's immediately purified and the cleanse charge is removed. It makes, you know, pretty much every tech champion at least decently suicide friendly. Pretty cool, man. That's going to be awesome for, like, Stark, Spidey. It's going to be uh, nice for, like, Vulture and Howard the Duck, get rid of the poison and the, um, the bleed. It's going to be cool for Dr. Octopus, man. Oh, it's really, really cool. And plus, just in general, opens the door to take nodes like uh, Shock 60 Second, Incinerator 60 Second, stuff like that for robots, all right? Fortify. Gain energy resistance equal to their armor rating. So, for example, War Machine's going to get, like, over 3,000 energy resistance. He's probably going to be able to, like, probably heal from suicides, I would imagine. I just thought of that now. Wow, that's really, really cool. Probably just completely ignore Magic's Limbo damage. That is really, really powerful, man. For War Machine specifically because of his armor up buff. Wow. Also, gain up to plus 276 attack rating based on current armor rating and debuffs, and excluding stun, gain plus 20% duration. So, lots of, lots of potential here, man. 
Lots of potential. So let's jump into his actual abilities here. Heavy attack, refresh all personal debuffs, excluding stun on the opponent, cooldown 20 seconds. I feel like with the cooldown, it'd be cool if the stun was refreshed as well. But, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Special attacks. Can't be evaded. Yes, true strike on a special attacks. Very, very cool. Special one. Same animation, by the way. The minigun suppressing fire grants each shot a 100% chance to inflict a suppression debuff, reducing combat power rate by 10% for 10 seconds. And this also applies to the block. So that's going to be a little annoying on defense now. But not the biggest deal. It just uh, lowers your combat power rate there. All right. Uh, and for each armor break on the opponent, each shot has a 60% chance to inflict a rupture debuff. So if you have two armor breaks, that's over a 100% chance, each dealing 1,380 physical damage over 5.5 seconds. And the chance to rupture increases by 60% for each armor break debuff on the opponent. I, I kind of already said that. All right. Each suppression debuff applied also removes one prowess effect from the opponent. That's like going to be annoying, I guess, on defense when you're using mutants against this guy, but you're not going to really use mutants against this guy unless you're using like uh, Magneto against him. But then the ability accuracy reduction is probably going to reduce that anyway. But yeah, um, developers note, normally try to pair the special attack with both the fury from the special three and the debuff refresh from the heavy attack to get as much damage as possible from the special one rupture debuffs special two 100 chance to inflict an armor break debuff removing an armor at buff and reducing armor rating by 3150 for 30 seconds max stacks two so keep in mind these last for 30 seconds and that debuff refresh happens every 20 seconds so you have like a 10 second window every like refresh you know with these things to get in there and refresh the armor breaks keep them up the whole fight 3150 for an armor break is pretty good and you can have two of them over 6000 and that's at rank 5 okay so if you're using this guy as a 6 star that's going to be a big reduction in armor plus you're also going to have fury from the special 3 we'll get to that um, developers note the core of War Machine's kit most of his abilities will gain bonuses based on the number of armor bricks on the opponent make sure to stack as many as you can you can only have two though so it's looking like two special twos to ramp up in this fight and you're going to be doing a lot of damage so the special three 100% chance to inflict a stun and gain a fury pass of increasing attack by 1265 for 30 seconds each armor break will uh, on the opponent will grant War Machine an additional fury passive so that you can have up to like 3750 plus fury for the maxed out five star here unduped with over 6000 armor uh, reduction on the opponent that's going to be some massive damage it's possible for War machine to deal tons of damage when you've got a few armor breaks stacked up you'll be seeing some big yellow numbers after a well-used special three that is looking good man that's really looking good. So it's looking like two special twos to ramp up, and then you can cycle those special threes. I wonder if you can... Oh, man. If you use this guy with, like, a tech power boost, could you get, like, six fury passives? Ooh. That... Ooh. Ooh, man. That's looking interesting, man. That's looking very interesting. We'll have to see. We'll have to test him out. Now, let's look for the sig ability here, all right? Empty the clip. It's a little different now. It used to grant fury buffs and armor buffs. And what I said, I was like, man, this thing is crazy if you use it right before a special three. And I said, all he really needs is some regen so we can activate it again. Look at this. War Machine activates his empty the clip. So now you can gain 12 fury passives, not buffs, okay? Each granting plus 366.88 attack rating. These effects are lost as War Machine lands attacks and gain 12 regen passives, each recovering 1,257 health over 15 seconds. These effects are lost as War Machine is struck. I feel like Magneto is gonna gonna be really quick at just reversing that and killing this guy off really quickly. Um, so Magneto's looking like a really solid option for this guy all around. Um, but that's looking really, really cool on offense, man. And it's looking like it's really not needed at all as well. It's gonna be a really nice bonus, but man, the attack rating with empty the clip active and uh, the two armor breaks as well as the three Furies. It's looking really, really juicy, man. So let's look at some synergy bonuses here. Nothing too important, I don't believe. Um, War Machine in a fight with a support boost active gain two additional cleanses. That's nice, right? 
Uh, Silver Surfer, Gamora Heimdall, plus 25% buff duration. That's actually really nice for them. Uh, over here with uh, Hulkbuster, Guardian, Civil Warrior. Gain plus 25% block efficiency while blocking special attacks. Cool. Okay. Um, Skirmish Enhancement. Rupture debuffs plus 25% potency. That's pretty cool. Um, with, you know, the Armor Briggs and the Three Furies and uh, the Special One with the Refreshing the Ruptures. Man, that's probably going to be a lot of damage over time there. Um, another thing that's cool here is Shock is plus 15% potency for Black Widow Deadly Origin. That's pretty cool. And that's about it. Then we have some generic ones as, rel as well here. But overall, man, this guy is, uh, he's looking very juicy, man. And I cannot wait to test him out. I really can't wait because he is looking very, very good and very fun to use. I have a six-star war machine. I'm not opposed to wrecking him up if I really like him. We'll have to see. Only time will tell. But... Anyway, my dudes, that's going to be it for this War Machine breakdown, a buff update rework info for you. If you enjoyed it, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about seeing the War Machine rework on the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you dig it? I kind of dig it. Let me know what you think. And if you, uh, you know, you want to see some War Machine buffed gameplay, why don't you subscribe? Because it'll be dropping right when, the, right when the patch drops. And I don't want you to miss it. And in the meantime, go check out that pre-buff War Machine video if you want to see it. It's pretty cool. Anyway, my dudes, though, I'll be seeing you around.